hi everyone welcome back to game maker cast it's Mickey again and in this video tutorial we're going to be working on some moving platforms which we can see here are moving left to right and we can also once we get on top of one we can hit our down arrows to go through them so we're, this is what we're going to be working on today so let's go ahead and get started by closing our game and you can see right here I have a default room I have some walls I have our player ob obstacle or sorry player instance then we also have some platform objects here and they're actually not doing anything right now if we take a look at the player we can just quickly go through this we have some basic platform movement here and then we have some platform um, collision detection for horizontal movement we also have collision detection for the vertical movement and then inside the vertical movement we have our jump if this is something that you'd like me to go over i would be more than happy to create a little video on that so the first thing I want to tackle here is in our object platform, you can see that we don't have anything. I want to make these platforms move left to right. So the first thing I want to do is add a couple of variable definitions. What I want to do is add a variable definition for position, oops, position from. The default will be zero and it will be a real value. We'll also have a position two same default value and real and finally let's have a horizontal speed and let's make the default of three now what this allows us to do is inside the room editor we can now with these platforms with any one of them we can come down to our variables and we can set different variables for individual platforms now we're not done yet so let's go over to our workspaces and let's add an event we're going to add a create event here so the create event, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we randomize any choices that we make with this object. And we need to randomly choose a direction, which is going to be either minus one or one. So we're either going to be moving to the left or we're going to be moving to the right. The next thing we want to do is create another event. Let me close my room here to give me some more space. In the platform, we'll create a new event and we'll create a step event. So in here is going to be our actual code for the platform. What I want to do is change the X position of this platform and I want to change it to the horizontal speed times the direction that we're moving in. So we'll either move once again left or right. The next thing I need to do is make sure that if our, let me reload up the room, if the platform is at the final position or it's at the starting position, we want to switch the directions. So we'll go basically in a ping pong movement. To do this, we can easily check the x position. So we can say if x is less than equal to our position from, or x is bigger, so I said less or equal, or bigger or equal to position two, then what we want to do is change the direction. So we'll say dr times equals minus one. So if our direction is minus one, minus one times minus one, we'll set it to one. And if our direction is one, one times minus one, we'll set it to minus one. Now we can save this and inside our room editor, like I showed you before, we can double click on one of our platforms and we can bring up the variables. And in here we have access to these three different variables. So for this uh, platform here, I'm gonna have it start at this position. So at 96. So I'll just overwrite the default value and the two, I want it to go to 336, 336, and I'll leave the horizontal speed at three. Now for this platform up here, I want it to meet up with the platform there. So the position two will be 688. So position two is always going to be the larger one and position from will be 608 and let's change the horizontal speed of this one to one and the variables for this one we know that this is the lower position 768 and let's have it actually go to right there which will be 864 and horizontal speed, what did we make this one? Let me do a quick check. Made it one, so let's make that horizontal speed one as well. And the final one, we want it to start over here. 
So the default value is 464, the position from, and then the position to, let's make it 816, and let's make this one actually pretty fast, so we'll say six. Okay, so with everything done there, we'll save and run our game just to see if our platforms are indeed moving. And you can see that one's, that one's not moving correctly. So it could be that just we have it in at the position there. So I'll just move it out. And that's actually a bug that we could easily fix. All right. So you can see everything's working here. The next thing we want to do is make it so we can collide with these platforms. So let's close this. We'll close our room editor and go into our object player. Inside our object player in the horizontal movement, we want to make sure that we can't go inside of the platform. So right here, we are doing the collision, collision for wall, and we can easily just copy this code and paste it below and we could change this to collision for platform. Most likely what we want to do is create this into a script because, because we're calling it more than once. And with the script, we can just pass in the object that we want to collide with. And we would then just have it do all of this code for us. But for now, let's just keep it as a separate entity. So collision for platform, we check the X horizontal movement plus the speed that we're going to see if we're going to collide with a platform. And if we are going to collide with a platform, while we are not colliding with the platform, either one to the left or one to the right, then we move ourselves towards the platform and then we set our speed to zero. So that's pretty easy. Now, vertical movement, let's take a look at that. And all we need to do is the exact same thing as we just did. So if you scroll down, we have a ground check here. What we can do is we could copy this ground check and we'll paste it underneath just like before. And in here, we'll say platform check. And once again, instead of colliding with the object wall, we'll check for the object platform. And we'll make sure that while we are not touching the platform, we move towards it. And then we set our speed to zero. Now if we run the game, let's see what else we need to fix here. Now that we have our platforms moving, we should be able to jump on top of them. And you can see that we can indeed jump on top, but I'm pressing the jump key and I'm unable to jump. So that would cause some issues when I try to go up here on this wall. So let's get that code working first. To do that, we'll scroll up to where we have our jump. So basically what we're doing for this jump is we're checking to see if there is going to be a object wall underneath us or the ground. And if there is, if we're pressing the jump key, then we just increase our vertical speed by the jump force. So to make this easy, all we need to do is say if we have the object wall below us or if there's also going to be the vertical speed the object platform below us and then we press the jump key make sure our vertical speed is going to be set to the jump force which will co cause us to go up so now if we try this and we come up here and we get on our platform you can see that we can jump off this one's not moving so let's actually switch some of that code here when we go to the platform we'll say if it's less than platform position from or bigger than the position two. Technically what we could do is we could set it to one of these items and then change the direction. Let's just see where our room is starting here. I just move that closer and we'll hit play. Make sure that we can jump on all of our platforms here. All right, let's jump on the first platform here and we'll have to jump across and let's make sure we get on top that one's obviously way too fast okay so the next thing we're going to have to do is when we're on one of our platforms i want our platform to carry us across left or right without actually having to press these arrow keys so once again let's switch back to our workspace and not in the object platform but the object player 
we're going to change some code. I'm going to maximize this so we can see what we're working with here. So in the vertical movement, when we check the platform, we know that we are standing on top of a platform right about here. Because we set our vertical speed to zero, we know that we are directly stand sorry we are directly above the platform so what we want to do is make sure that we are on the platform and we're going to grab that platform speed and add it to our player speed here i'll show you what i mean if we create an instance and we assign that instance variable to whatever is at the x position and y position of our player plus one and we are looking for any platform We'll have to first make sure that our instance instance is not no one. So we have found an instance of platform right below us. Whoops. And if we have found an instance of platform, there's a couple things I want to do. First, I want to tell the player that we are standing on a platform. So let's go to the create event. And down here at the bottom, we'll create a new variable. Just say is on platform and we'll set it default. Now in the step event, we'll say if the instance does not equal no one, meaning we found a platform, we say that we are on a platform. Otherwise, we are not. And this is just so we can reset the flag. Once we know that we're on a platform, we can set our horizontal speed. Once it comes up, horizontal speed to equal the instance of the platform we found. We want to set it to that horizontal speed plus deceleration times the instance direction. All right, so this may seem a little confusing, but what we're doing is we're setting our player's horizontal speed to the platform instance that we found. We're setting it to the horizontal speed. And because we may not be pressing left or right, we also want to add the deacceleration, which up here at the top will cause it to kind of ignore this information. So it will allow our player to go left or right easily and back down here. And then we want to multiply this portion here by the direction that we're going. So if we're going to the left, it will be multiplied by minus one. If we're going to the right, it will be multiplied as one. Now, let's see here. The only other thing I really found here is when we're accelerating and we are on a platform, we're actually not accelerating that much because our deacceleration is also taking over. For instance, if I run the game here and I jump on top of a platform, we should see our player move left or right, and I'm not pressing any keys. However, if I try to move the player the opposite direction, it's not very smooth. Let's see if I can get on this fast one here. Oops. That's uh that's a fail. Alright. And oh, missed it. So I am pressing the left key and I'm not moving very much here. So one of the things that we can do is because we know that we're on a platform, we can change this acceleration value. So we could say is on platform so if the player is on a platform we can do excel times two to double it otherwise we'll just use the acceleration rate so currently our acceleration is set to 1.5 if we're on a platform that will get set to three which will allow us to move a little easier we'll just compile the game and let's try it again so I can move pretty easy on these platforms now. And if I get to this one, it seems to be working just fine. Now this one is pretty fast, so it's a little bit harder. Now the only other thing I want to do next is we have these input down. So this is using the S key. And basically what I want to do is if we're pressing the down button, I want to be able to get off the platform and go underneath. So to do this, once again, we'll go into our vertical movement. In the platform check, when we know that we are on a platform, we want to check to see if we've pressed that input key. So we can say if input down does not equal zero, 
we know that we've pressed the key. So we can say is on platform is equal false. And then the easiest thing we can do is just add 64 to our Y position. Now, why are we adding 64? Because if we go to our platform, you can see that the height of the platform is 32. And because the platform is 32 pixels in height, our player is also 32 pixels in height. So we need to add 64 pixels in order to place our player directly below. Here, let me run the game and show you. Once this loads up, let's get on one of our platforms. Oops. And once we're on here, if I press the S key, the player is going to be underneath and then fall through. Just like that. Now we could do the same thing if we wanted to make two-way platforms. But I can fall through these platforms just by pressing the down key now. And with that, we're going to bring this video lesson to an end. Hopefully you've learned a few things or two. Um, there's a few different bugs that we could easily fix up, but I feel this is pretty good for just a little tutorial on the moving platforms. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope to see you next video. Please like, comment, or subscribe.